families in need of food have one less place to look this week. A local food ministry is in shambles tonight after someone broke into their building and trashed the place. Now, folks at the Journey Hope Church are still trying to tally up the damage that's likely reached thousands of dollars. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb had a first-hand look at the destruction. Jason, tell us, what did you see? Well, Shannon, pretty much anything that could be damaged in the building was, with refrigerators broken and all kinds of food knocked onto the floor. It's food that normally would go to hungry families across Middle Tennessee. Just off Midland Fosterville Road in Rutherford County, Doug Mitchell has always taken pride in keeping his ministry, Journey of Hope, in tip-top shape. But this wasn't the kind of spring cleaning he had in mind today. Oh, it was bad. It was very bad. Inside, he says, was the work of vandals from overnight. Of course, they, they saw fit to break all the glass on all these coolers right here like this. And as you walk further in, the destruction just seems to get worse. We'll have to toss so much of this stuff. We'll we'll salvage as much as we can, but there there's so much of it that's been contaminated now. It's food that usually goes to help feed 550 families a week from Rutherford and Bedford County. There's canned goods that come in the other day, pickles just swept them off the, the shelves right there. But amid all the waste, there may be something valuable the vandals left behind. The flour is what's going to catch these guys because they got their footprints. <laughs> They got their footprints. They, they know what size shoes they wear. And if they're caught, Doug says he already has a punishment in mind. Whoever did it, I, I want them to do community service right here. But with his ministry in such bad shape, right now, a punishment is the least of his worries. It's sad to think that there's probably, um, you know, probably two dozen families that this right here would feed uh, for a whole week. What that we'll probably throw away tomorrow. Doug says he hopes to have the food ministry back up and running by Friday.